how to make a call to action button in Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a call to action button into your Squarespace website. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over squarespace.com. Then you're going simply to sign in into your account. As you can see here, we have our account ready and now we are going to access our account dashboard. A little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses, accounts, and uh, all of stuff are created only for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. So make sure to use your own information and not use the shown ones. So right here we are on the dashboard. So we are going to select one of the websites that you want to add the call to action to it. And then we are going to click on go to website or we are going to click on the title of it. So once you are here, you're going to face the, uh, the uh, dashboard or the control panel of the website. So you can go ahead and choose the site name here. So we are going to name it like this because this is the first time that I'm going to use this website. I have created it and didn't set up anything for it. So we are going to click on continue. Then we are going to sit here, uh, get started. Now we are going to ignore the uh, starter uh, guide and we are going to explore our website. So as you can see here, we have two uh, of the products that I want to add some call to actions like this button to them. So we are going simply to see that. Now I want to add a call to action button similar to this one. How we can do that easy. So we are going to select the page that we want to add that specific call to action button. For example, you are going to click on here pages. You're going to see, for example, the shop, the about page, the contact or the home page. Once you have selected and defined the page, you're going to click on edit. Now it will extend the editing options of your website and you are going to get the full version of the editing. Now, we are going simply to select the section that we want to add that a call to action button. And then we're going to add it as a block here. I will let you see here two options. Either you can go ahead and add it directly from Squarespace elements or blocks, or you can use a design platform to create your own, uh, right there, uh, custom button or call to action button like Canva. So we are going to start with the standard one, which is adding the integrated call to action buttons. Go ahead and select the, uh, let's go ahead and select the uh, first section, which is this one. So I'm going to click on add block. And from then we're going to see here that the basic ones will give us the option to add some buttons images, text, and etc. So we are going to add a button and that button is going to be placed right there. So we are going to put it here at the middle. And now we are going to make it a call to action here. We have the text, which is learn more. You can go ahead and click on uh, the button twice or double tap on it and then modify the text on it. So for example, we are going to set not learn more, but read more. And now more like this. And if you want to make it a action button, which is the purpose of it to take us to another page or another website, you need to set it as a link or here you need to link it. So we are going to attach a link to it and then you can choose Either it is going to be a URL, a file, an email composer, or a phone caller. So the most of the parts, it will be a URL. So if it is an internal URL, you're going to set it right there. So we are going to click on the space specific for the writing and you are going to see some main navigation items or pages. We have the shop, the about, the contact, the home, also some product categories, as you can see that are set with our website. So I'm going to set it here. It is set organically 
dyed uh, textile so we are going to click on about and you can get the option to open it into a new tab so right there we have added the learn more button if we want to design that button we can go ahead and set it fill or fit so for the fit or the fill it will be like that so you can go ahead and control that button make it bigger smaller or whatever so we're going to set it like this maybe and we are going to put it like that so now we have some issues with the configuration right there so i'm going to click on the button twice again and then we have the type of the button so we can go ahead and edit the button styles and see here what do we have for example for the primary one you can go ahead and set the square of it like this one to this rounded rectangle to this for example uh pill and etc so also we have some uh, options to set up with the outline and finally the uh, padding of it so now and for the colors it will be dependent on the theme uh, collection or the theme color palettes now that was for the design and now you can go ahead and select the theme as you can see here and the buttons so you can go ahead and choose and customize the buttons now back here we have added the first button now let's go ahead and add a similar button but with canva so we are going simply to add the button by creating a design and also we can go ahead and embed it so we are going to create a button for example we're going to type in button then canva button uh, schoology button so we are going to create a, a custom design and that custom design is going to be a little bit for the width of 300 or 200 uh, by 100 uh, or 50 pixel like that normally it would be a button like this so we can go ahead and customize it or put a button or a heading on it we're going to make it a little bit bigger put it at the center uh, for example learn learn more and then we can go ahead and select the font so the uh, last one wasn't having a font so we are going to set this font maybe like that and the uh, the, the background color should be pink for example then we are going simply to uh, either go ahead and implement it or embed it so we are going to click on embed and then we are going to click on embed that so we are going to get the html code and also we can go ahead and click on three buttons put a link on it for example we are going to copy and paste that link into this one and then we are going to embed it again so we are going to uh, type in here so we are going to add a block now we are going to select embed double click uh, put a code snippet embed data boom so we have it and now we are going to see the button so this is the button uh, this is it you can also implement it as an image like that or you can go ahead and implement it as an image and also link it if the link doesn't work and obviously it will not work in this case as an embed one and here we have it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one